I'm oh, 22 yeah. says the odds of FBG butter snitching are very, very high. No, that nigga told and says he was possibly just <laughs> He definitely a bitch. I'm outside the hotel right now. I was going to wait to say this on the podcast, but I forgot to say it uh, when we recorded the episode yesterday and everything. But FBG butter, clearly this dude is out of his mind or at least like is such a clout chaser that he's doing multiple interviews claiming that he got all this money off of no jumper that he scammed us for money on my mom on my kids he got us for zero dollars and he's now doing multiple interviews claiming that he got us for some money and it is 100 percent not true so i just wanted to get that out there and then I'm gonna continue this in one second, bro. If you I have watched Adam, some of bro. his interviews before, and the kid is definitely funny and entertaining, right? But he's also clearly a drug addict, and he pretty much admits to that. He drinks like crazy in the interviews. He's talking all about popping zans and everything like that. So it's definitely a possibility that he doesn't even realize that he's lying about scamming us because he's so fucked up that he's just not even aware. But that being said, I've watched his interviews. When he's denying being a snitch. And I've thought to myself, like, well, you know, he doesn't seem like he's lying. But then seeing clips of him talking about how he scammed us, I'm like, well, he doesn't seem like he's lying there either. So I think the <laughs> odds of him actually being a snitch in this whole duck case and everything, to me, are very, very high. Because this kid is clearly some kind of sociopathic fucking liar and a drug addict, possibly zesty. That's still up for debate. I have watched some of his interviews before. This nigga, oh, yeah, and this is the other thing I wanted to say, too, is that I actually had, like, a long phone call with FBG but uh, a couple weeks ago before he was supposed to do the interview. And he was all, like, texting me and, like, making sure I got on the phone with him and shit. So I call this dude. I'm talking to him. And he tells me, like, I'm expecting him to say some shit about the Wooski thing and, like, oh, bro, you disrespected Wooski or whatever. I already knew what I was going to say to be able to, like, you know, talk to him about that, right? He didn't want to talk about that. All he was doing was just apologizing and swearing up and down that he was an honest person and basically just telling me that even though he had missed our initial interview date that he was going to make it up to me and that he was going to actually come to town and that he wanted to make sure that he got it done and how he would never scam anybody and now he's doing a series of interviews where he's lying and claiming to have scammed us who scams by lying about scamming i'm just saying this kid you can't believe anything he says if we know Adam, bro, you know Adam is cheap as fuck. <laughs> At, bro, let's just keep it a buck, nigga. Adam cheap as fuck, nigga. If you not like Boosie or I don't even think he'll get Boosie some money. That nigga don't be trying to get nobody nothing, nigga. You think he finna get you something to bring your dusty ass up here to talk about some stories we didn't heard you talk about 30 times on 30 other platforms? Shut Man. up. You don't have no exclusive story to come tell here. You don't. You don't. Yeah, come on, Sean. You don't. You've you been told every story already. You've been telling it for like 10 that. years, bitch ass nigga. He be on my dick, so I'm, I don't like this nigga. He be talking shit, talking about what he was going to do to me. I'll slap your bitch ass nigga. But anyways. He did that on Say Cheese. Saying talking he crazy ran as fuck. Off. He, saying he ran off and stuff. Like, man, shut up, nigga. On, Them chains, he was mad because I found his chains on Google. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he was mad. We Googled his chains and them bitches popped up and they was 2029 on, uh, on Wish. And he was fucking salty about that shit. So he was fucking crazy. <laughs> what the fuck you mad at me? Because your change is Googleable, nigga. <laughs> the fuck? Stop wearing bread chasers, Googleable ass chains, yeah, nigga. You no. look crazy. Nigga had the he shop golds on and he was mad. So he was talking crazy about me. I just feel like he'd be lying, bro. <laughs> he had them shop golds on. He had the shop golds, bro. <laughs> he be fucking lying, bro. I swear. Why gold. do you have a generic ass chain? I could <laughs> Google and literally say, Bread stack or stack bread, and you can Google it. That bitch was twenty five dollars. <laughs> the fuck out of here, sterling silver, twenty five ninety nine, bro. You're disrespectful, nigga. Get that shit up out of here, bro. I don't think he gave. I don't think that. I don't think they gave him shit. Josh and them would have told me anyways. I don't think they paid you, nigga. They ain't pay your broke uh, ass. Uh, you broke. I ain't gonna cap. You broke as fuck. For real, for real. You a broke ass, nigga. Them chains all I need to see. <laughs> <laughs> You be, I, I swear I'm you get. Sad. I'm sad he did it on Say Cheese. Sean Conn keep letting me down, bringing him back up there. It's Hyping because, him up and I stuff. think it's just because he know he's entertaining. He, he, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say, but it's not entertaining, but it's definitely entertaining. And it's just like, you know, his cling to fame. He ain't never had no song. 
Like that BG Butter was never known for rapping. I never he was heard. just known for being around the niggas who rapped and the niggas who did the and shit. And he's uh shit. he had a uh baby with uh Duck's sister or something like that? Yeah? Yeah. Huh. I'm not familiar. That's but he, I know that he be lying about in. K.I. being his sister. That's not even his sister. Nah. We know who K.I. actual brother is. I think his name is G.I. Joe. And it's not this nigga. You feel me? But he be pissing me off. Because Mama Duck, in her interview with uh, Adam and stuff, she talks about how he's tied into the family. Mm. Yeah, nah. This nigga, uh, he be talking too much for me. 